You probably didn't need any more reason to believe that Dolly Parton is a national treasure, but we have another reason for you. Hershend Enterprises, this is Dollywood's parent company, announced two days ago that Dollywood will pay 100% of the tuition costs, fees, and books for employees who pursue higher education. Starting in just a week or two, all 11,000 seasonal, part time, and full time employees at Hershend's 25 US attractions, including Dollywood itself, can register for what's called the Grow You Pilot Program which provides free access to more than 100 fully funded diploma, degree, and certificate programs in a number of different fields, including business administration, finance, technology, and more. By the way, in addition to that, they also provide free meals for every working shift. There are apprentice and leadership training programs. They also pay a portion of childcare costs for employees who need childcare while they work, which is good news obviously for them. Also for me, because I think I might be applying soon. Anyway, that is a, a nice set of benefits there, Brian. I know she she is sort of a, a, a national treasure. I hear that you to qualify though, you you do have to stand up and pitch at Pigeon Forge uh, and at some sort of stage and sing I will always love you. And you have to get through <laughs> that song and hit every note. No. And then you're eligible. Then you then then you then you're eligible for the scholarship. Um, no, I mean it's like in in it's insanely generous, and um, it's also so unusual for the region in which Pigeon Forge is, and that where Dollywood is. It's uh, mm-hmm. such a conservative um, place where where. Or, or just a place where this idea of funding people's education is probably pretty unheard yeah. of. Yeah. Well, maybe she can change the culture a bit. Um, We wanted to remind you a few other things she's been involved in recently. The Dollywood Foundation gives more than $1 million in donations a year to local groups in Tennessee. Uh, Her Imagination Library teams with communities each month to give children high quality books at no cost. Back in 2020, Parton's friendship with a Nashville doctor led to the singer donating $1 million to Vanderbilt University for COVID-19 research, which partially funded Moderna's coronavirus vaccine. And she also revealed last year that the royalty she made for writing I Will Always Love You, which became a global phenomenon when it was covered by Whitney Houston in 1992 in The Bodyguard. Those royalties were invested in a building in a historically black Nashville neighborhood. So she's yeah, not just, doing enough, clearly she's not doing enough. No, no, yeah. come on. I know. You, you're you okay with these donations, you're no Betty White. We're gonna have to see you up though, that charitable giving. Anyway, no, just awesome to see. Uh, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. So, in the vein of Spider Man, uh, Dolly Parton is making the world a better place. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.